My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Every week, we break down full UFC fight cards, giving you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. This video is brought to you by Bet You Play to Earn. It is the world's first online play to earn sports and esports betting game. Check it out now at betyouearn.com. That's bet, the letter U, earn.com. Next up, at UFC Vegas 48, we have Chad Anhelliger versus Jesse Strader. Jesse Strader is 5-2 and two overall, 3-2 and two in his last five, coming off a TKO loss to Montel Jackson. Chad Anhelliger, 11-5 overall, 5-0 and oh in his last five, and hasn't lost since 2014. Jesse Strader is coming off a TKO loss to Montel Jackson in his UFC debut, but that was on short notice. And then he was supposed to fight Mana Martinez this past summer, but had to pull out of that. Stylistically, Jesse is always moving forward. He's got a ton of action, a solid pace, and really nice power. He's a traditional boxer, so he does an amazing job ripping the body, like one, two, three, and then coming straight up to the head with that four. And it's really, really nice. That's his favorite combinations, three punches to the body, then a big overhand to the head. He isn't just a boxer, though. He's got solid takedowns, and he's a pretty well-rounded guy overall. Chad Anhilliger is a very real prospect. His fight style is power striker with solid BJJ. If it gets to the ground, he sets a nice pace there, and then he is incredibly, he hits incredibly hard. His takedown defense is okay, but his sweeps and get-up game are really impressive. I've seen him taken down in fights. I've seen him sweep from there. I've seen him get up from there. He's, he's impressive on the ground considering he's a power striker overall. If he gets on top, he will absolutely tee off and let his hands fly. This is a fun striker versus striker matchup. I think Chad is the more well-rounded fighter overall, but I absolutely love how Jesse rips the body then comes over the top to the head. I just love that combination. And if you go onto YouTube and watch any of his videos, it's in every single one of his fights. The only problem is it's in every single one of his fights. He goes to it often. It can be timed. You know, once you get that one body shot, you know the next four punches that are coming your way. And people can capitalize on that. And I think, you know, right now, as the odds sit, Chad is a three-to-one favorite. I think that is very wide. I do think Jesse's live here. I, I love Jesse's boxing, as I mentioned a few times. But I am going with Chad. Chad is the pick because on their feet, he has just as much power. And I think he's, you know, a very capable striker, even if Jesse's the better striker. But again, his ability to sweep, his ability to get takedowns, defend takedowns, stand up if he is taken down, all of those things I see have you know, I see him you know, winning the rounds, winning the minutes, and winning the fight. So Chad is my pick. What do you think, Jakey? Yeah, I agree. I think Chad's the overall uh, better fighter. I actually think that in the wrestling department that, that Jesse is, is going to be the better overall wrestler. Um, Chad is known for his guillotine. I think he's got like five or six guillotine finishes. So that kind of scares me if Jesse is going to go to the wrestling. If you like Jesse's uh, striking, you should like it even more in this fight. Because over the past year, he's been working with a guy named Sugarfoot Cunningham. I don't know if that name rings a bell, but I guess at late 80s, 90s, this guy was a kickboxer with a record of 49-1-2. and two. So the guy knows what he's doing. He's been working with Jesse. Jesse said he loves having him in the camp. Jesse's the only person I've ever seen with a win over Michael Jackson. Uh, he did lose to Marcelo Rojo, uh, Rojo, <laughs> Rojo um, who put up a fight of the century versus Kyler Phillips. I, you know, what are you going to do there? But... He does. He does fight through adversity too. There's a couple fights I watched where he just got. He was getting just rocked, and he just keeps throwing bombs. So it's going to be hard for Chad to put this guy away. Um, but I think he gets the job done. I think Chad's an overall better fighter, like you said. The odds are probably a little bit wide. Uh, Jesse is kind of a talented guy, but uh, I'm taking Chad all the way in this matchup for sure. Yeah, this. It, I honestly expect this to be one of the more fun fights in the card. And that's the thing with these cards. This card sucks. Like, let's be real. It's not a good card. And especially coming off the heels of an awesome pay-per-view. It's kind of like just a real a real downer coming into this week. It's early in the day. It's not very good. But these are the types of cards where there's some really fun fights and you really enjoy yourself watching them, even if it's a bunch of random matchups. Chad Anhelliger is not worth $9,100. Do you agree? Too many unknowns. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Jesse's tough, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm not spending the $9,100 on him. 
I, I, will, I may bet on him. Like, he's not a parlay piece because I'm just not confident enough because, to your point, Jesse is very tough, and Jesse's a phenomenal boxer, and Chad may not be able to time that whole body-body head and may have some issues with it. Monkey knife fight, though, I do think it's an all-out war. I like the more more on monkey knife fight. Yeah, 100% like the more more on that for sure. Yeah, so if you want to play that, go to wewantpicks.com slash MKF. Monkey Knife Fight is daily fantasy. Super easy. Ton of fun. You literally look at the strike line, say more or less, and if you hit it, you can triple your money 25 times your money if you put a whole bunch of them together. Wewantpicks.com slash MKF.